Hey kids, today we're going to work on measuring volume. And first of all, you're going to need a few different uh, materials to measure volume. We need the graduated cylinder and something to measure, of course. And I have some dimes right here. All right, the first thing we need to do is decide which graduated cylinder to use. So you want to use the smallest one possible so you can get the closest to the exact measurement. So I'll try this really small one. Oh shoot, this dime doesn't fit in there. So I'm gonna have to go up to the next highest one. Here I have a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder. I'm gonna try this one. Okay, my dime should work there. The first thing I'm gonna do is get an accurate read of the exact amount of water in that graduated cylinder. You can see here is 30, and that is at exactly 35. If I wanted to go to three significant digits though, I would say that it's slightly higher than 35, so I might say 35.1. Go ahead and record that information. Starting measurement, 35.1. What type of units do you use? Yeah, milliliters, that's correct. So let's go ahead and put milliliters. Okay, now we're ready to put in and start our experiment. I'm going to add eight dimes to the first one and see how much the water level increases. The amount that it increases would tell me the volume of my dimes. So here are my eight dimes. Try not to drop them into where the water comes out. So you might have to tilt your graduated cylinder just slightly. Slowly drop them in. And now you can look at the next measurement. It looks here like it's just above 37, but not quite to 38. So what would be a good guess? If you guess 37.5, I would say that's a pretty accurate read. Uh, actually, I'm going to go with 37.2 milliliters. The ending measurement. 37.2 milliliters. Now all I have to do to find the volume of these eight dimes is to simply subtract what I ended with. I need to subtract what I started with. And that'll tell me how much the dimes took up in my graduated cylinder. So minus 35 and one tenth milliliters. One is two, bring my decimal down. Seven minus five is two, and three minus three is zero. So I have eight dimes measures two and one tenth milliliters. Now I'm gonna to try to double it. So let's put eight more dimes in. If my first read was very accurate, the second one should be about the same. So I should end 4.2 milliliters higher than what I started with. Okay, adding the next eight dimes. Trying not to spill any water. Okay, we have them in. And let's check and see what the measurement is. It appears to be, and I'm getting down at level. You might notice that I'm getting down right at level with the water so I can see right where the water crosses on my graduated cylinder. And if you look closely, you'll be able to see that it crosses right above 39. So it's about 39.1, I would say, somewhere in there, 39.1, 39.2. Okay, so I need to take my new amount and subtract the original amount, what I started with, 35.1. So I have 39.1 or 0.2, whichever you chose, and I subtract 35.1. That gives me a grand total of 4.0 milliliters. That's almost exactly double. Very close. So my reading was pretty accurate. You try your own experiment this time. Maybe use five pennies and then 10 pennies. And at the end, you can make a prediction for 45 pennies and test it out, see if you're right. Well, good luck, guys.